be patient here. He doesn't need much at all. We're doing very, very little. This is just shaping. And we're using a filler a little deep into the upper cheek to kind of lift so that his under eye improves. Just giving him, you know, some more contouring in the mid face. Right here I'm using what's called Radius. And the reason I like this filler here is it builds a lot of collagen. And what we're doing with the cannulas is we're going in multiple directions to get some lifting effects. So we just did a little bit to the central cheek. We're now going to do a little bit into superior lateral position just to give him some enhancement. We're just doing very little bits to support the deep medial fat pad. Again, going right onto the bone to give some of that projection. Very little, I don't want to overdo it. Very small amount right at the edge of the nose. And again, this supports the upper lip, the medial chin, and just descent of the mid face. We're gonna go do a small amount to his under eye. Let's see where the cannula is. And we're just gonna give it a little support. This filler, which is our softer filler, Bellatero, I like this here because it's very, very soft and natural looking. I don't ever wanna forget this lateral edge of the eye because this area gets hollow too where he has just a slight bit the edge of the chin. I have like a teeny dab and then on each side, just put a little bit right into the edge of the chin. It'll support his lower lip, especially men's lips. You really want to help this crease in the center. Gives him a little more masculine appearance if that crease is gone. That also gives a little bit of an upturn. So lower lip, we're using here a different filler, Restylane Silk, which we, I like a lot because it's really soft. It looks very natural. Find a little bit more anterior of his lower lip. Again, using the cannula helps us limit down time. So we're just gonna give him a little definition there. Gives that little upturn. Same thing now on the corner of his lips, just to get a little upturn there. Now we're gonna go to the jawline and go right back to the edge of the jaw, going a little bit further back onto the actual lateral part of the jaw, and just produce just a little bit of that product right at the border, the junction. Gives you this shape that we're trying to create. So now we're gonna go in a vertical direction here to give more support to the tissue in that direction. So we're done now with the facial fillers. We did the lifting in the mid face, a little bit to the lips, the finish of the chin and the jawline.